The deep ocean is a mysterious place. Intense pressure, darkness, and freezing temperatures mean it has remained largely unexplored. But cutting edge robots are changing that. Autonomous underwater vehicles, known as AUVs for short, are transforming how we study the deep. Like this long range AUV developed by the Monterey Bay Aquarium Research Institute, a leader in this space. Here at the Embari headquarters in California, engineers are testing their latest robot, the MOLA AUV. This agile bot is designed to autonomously navigate and map the deep sea. Oh my gosh, it did a somersault! <laughs> and this is its playground. Hey there. I'm talking to an inanimate object. Hey, what's up? I feel like it's a pet. Its small size and design means it can explore rugged terrain more effectively. So we can go up and down, left and right, forward, but also we can go take in any angle that we want. Lead engineer Giancarlo Troni has spent the past 18 months working on the MOLA, ready for its first mission to the Maldives in a few months. Underwater robots are being used as part of a global push to map the entire ocean floor by 2030. To date, it's estimated only about a quarter has been documented. We don't know exactly where our vehicles are in every minute. We don't, know, we don't have GPS on the water, we don't have uh, Wi-Fi, we don't have cell phone communications. So we are willing to how we can improve our technology to know exactly where we are all the time. Why is it important to map the seafloor? We need the ocean, right? All life in the planet right now depends on the ocean. The ocean is changing very quickly and we don't know how. The only way we can go there is with these vehicles. Discovering secrets beneath the waves could unlock crucial facts about our planet. AUVs, ROVs, submersibles, they often look very similar, but they do come in all shapes and sizes, including one that looks like aquatic life itself. Meet Belle. She's not your average fish, and neither is her sister, Eve. The soft robotic fish were developed by these guys, engineering students from ETH Zurich. Lake Zurich may be some 300 kilometers from the sea, but it's a perfect testing ground for Dennis Bauman and his Surf eDNA team. The main goal of using this kind of robot is uh, we want to build a reliable tool for biologists. I'll do it this one. Yeah, I mean, also, it, it's just very cool to, to have a fish robot, I guess. The robot can film underwater and collect DNA to monitor marine ecosystems, all while blending in. By making Eve look like a fish, uh, we are able to be minimally invasive into the ecosystem that we are surveying. Uh, that means the fish population is not scared as much by us, the creatures living there are not scared as much by us. Today, the team are jumping in to test Eve's navigation. So it's working quite well right now. You could say this is autonomous, maybe a bit like your home robot, your home vacuum cleaner robot. So for now, we're just quite happy with uh, if we can see that the fish can actually move around obstacles, uh, avoid any collisions, basically. Eve's fluid swimming motion is thanks to internal pumps hidden in her silicon fin, moving the tail from side to side. It's here on campus where the students design and develop almost every aspect of the fish, including the movement of its fin. It works very well now, but it, it took a long time. The students took inspiration for the project from their professor, Robert Catchman, who developed a small robotic fish called Sophie when he was a student at MIT. 
I think there is a bright future ahead of us where we will see robots that are not built in the way that we think of robots today. And that's what we're trying to do with this project. The team's robots can also collect DNA samples of the marine environment, known as eDNA. The fish swims for about 30 minutes, so 10 liters of water can go through this filter. And then this filter collects the particles, the eDNA. From this small sample, researchers can get a snapshot of what kind of fish live in the body of water. We are able to identify the species and also how healthy the population is. By identifying that, we can maybe prevent um, species from being endangered or dying out. As the students continue to refine their tech, they hope one day this fish will change the way scientists study the deep. Want to learn more about Eve's creators? Scan here to tell us what tech you think could unlock the mysteries of the marine world.